right, good evening everybody. I hope everybody had safe travels in, whether it was yesterday, today, here to Seattle. What a beautiful city. What a perfect place to celebrate the launch of the all new Volkswagen Golf All Track. The scenery, the drivability, the food, everything is so perfect for this car and its customers. My name is Megan Garbus. I'm the product manager for the Golf family at Volkswagen of America. I've been involved professionally with Volkswagen for about 11 years, but I've been bleeding blue for Volkswagen my entire life. So to have the opportunity to introduce you all to the Golf All Track is a very important honor. So thank you guys for being here. Let's talk about the All Track. Hendrik mentioned a push towards SUVs. The All Track is more or less a bridge strategy to get us to that SUV push. So here we have kind of a familiar looking vehicle. It looks a little bit like the existing Golf Sport Wagon, yet it's got the capability and the go anywhere ability of an SUV but you don't sacrifice that unique drivability of a Volkswagen wagon, and that is the Golf All Track. It's got the handling and the fuel economy of a much smaller vehicle, but it can really go anywhere and take all of your stuff with it. The All Track has a specific exterior that makes the vehicle very unique from its sport wagon brethren and other small SUVs or wagons on the road. All All Track models are powered by Volkswagen's award-winning EA888 1.8 TSI engine, featuring 170 horsepower, and 199 pound-feet of torque at an impressive 1600 RPM. Fifth generation four motion all-wheel drive is standard throughout the all-track lineup, as you would expect. It achieves 30 miles per gallon on the highway, and we're proud to announce the base model pricing for the six-speed manual is at $25,850. Note that that six-speed manual will be available early 2017. We will launch the vehicle next month with a six-speed DSG equipped model featuring at $26,950 to start. So I think you can agree that the Gulf All Track is more or less in a segment by itself. However, you have another player in the field, the Subaru Outback. The Subaru Outback shares some things with the All Track, customer, customer characteristics, some of the needs and wants of those customers, but that's where some of the similarities end. Take a look at the engines alone. All Track features a great, direct injected <coughs> turbocharged engine, 170 horsepower, an immediately available step on the throttle, 199 pound feet of torque. From 1600 all the way through 4000 RPM, 4400 RPM in the lineup. What does that mean? When you step on the throttle, you go. Outback by contrast, 2.5 liter, horizontally opposed, normally aspirated four cylinder, 175 horsepower, 174 pound feet of torque at 4000 RPM. So a slight difference in drivability there. Speaking of drivability, transmissions. Volkswagen drivers love to drive. They love to be in their cars. They love a car that's fun to drive. So that's why we listen to those customers and their wants, and we decided to plan the all track with a six-speed manual, again, available early next year, and Volkswagen's award-winning six-speed DSG, available right at launch. Subaru CVT transmission is the only one available. No manual, no traditional automatic. Now we look at the technological features of the vehicles. We know the customers today are very featured on the technology of their vehicle. They want to be connected. They want to share their stories when they're out skiing, they're out snowboarding, biking, kayaking, going to Ikea, whatever they're doing with their all-track. So thanks to Volkswagen, uh, the standard uh, car net is found in the Golf All-Track, which gets you App Connect, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, MirrorLink, three great smartphone integration platforms, none of which you found in the 2017 Subaru Outback. Sunroof, you're going to be driving this vehicle in some beautiful locations this week. Blue skies, we hope, although Hendrick would like some rain. Green mountains, beautiful roads, beautiful scenery. What better than to view it when you're a passenger through Volkswagen's impressive optional panoramic sunroof in the Golf All Track, whereas in the Outback, you've just got a standard sunroof, um, standard size sunroof that is. Roof rack height, if you're vertically challenged like me, you might appreciate the statistic more than others. But the roof rack height of 4 feet 11 inches on the Golf All Track makes loading bicycles, snowboards, skis, kayaks, canoes a little bit easier than on the Outback, which has a loading height of 5 feet 6 inches. More features show where this um, Golf All Track really shines from standard features. A lot of customers who drive all wheel drive vehicles happen to live in colder climates, right? So that's why it makes sense that we offer the Alltrack standard with heated front seats, heated washer nozzles, and heated side mirrors. Those features are found on Outback, but they're not standard. 
Going down the list, you can see some other great standard features on the Alltrack which lend to its premium introductory price. Premium features at a low introductory price, excuse me. Mirror integrated turn signals, a cooled glove box, and something that speaks to what our customers will be doing with our Golf Alltrack. They'll be out playing in the dirt, skiing, snowboarding, hiking, biking. They're going to want a vehicle with a very durable interior. That's where Volkswagen's standard VTEX leatherette seating, available in four different colors, including an all-new beautiful Marrakesh brown interior, are standard on the Golf Alltrack. Subaru features cloth standard. Power seats, you've got partial power seat adjustment for driver and front passenger on all tracks, so that's a nice usability feature. Small leather package, fog lights, stainless steel pedal caps, eight speakers with available Fender premium audio. That's nine speakers with 400 watts of impressive power. And one of my favorite features, if you consider again, what customers do with these vehicles. They load a lot of stuff. They do outdoor activities. Sure, you've got a 60-40 split folding seat on both Alltrack and Outback, but one thing that you have standard on Alltrack but not available on Outback is the center pass-through. Center pass-through is great if you don't have handy the roof rails to load your skis or snowboard and you just want to be able to put down that center pass-through and put those longer items through the center while still being able to have two passengers in the outboard seats. So, Volkswagen, safety, driver assistance. These are some of our hallmarks, and the Golf Alltrack does not fall short on those hallmarks. Featuring a NHTSA five-star rating, IIHS top safety pick, and a great suite of available driver assistance features. From the standard rear view camera, to the available list of comprehensive features such as adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with autonomous emergency braking, lane departure warning, an all new feature for 2017, which is the high beam control light assist, which maybe depending on what, uh, what time of day you guys are driving, you'll get to experience. Park distance control and an automatic <coughs> parking assistant known as Park Assist. This is just some of the features that make the Alltrack great. As far as design is concerned, whether it's your first time seeing the Alltrack in person or your 20th time, I think you'll agree that this car really stands out from the bunch. It's got beautiful differentiation from other wagons on the road, looks different from other Volkswagens, frankly, and everything about this car says, I am an Alltrack, I can go anywhere, I can do anything, and you're gonna have fun while you're driving. From the front, you've got a differentiated front grille, a little bit more of aggressive front diffuser, you've got underbody cladding that carries throughout to the rear diffuser, which looks different on the vehicle, unique alloy wheel designs that are specific to Alltrack, beautiful reflex silver painted exterior mirrors with standard silver roof rails, and standard fog lights as well. So some of the great features on the car, it speaks for itself. Subtle all-track badging on the grille. We've got a little bit of all-track badging on the interior as well. And then on the back, it says four motion, so everybody knows that this car can go just about anywhere. One of my favorite features on the car, or any Volkswagen for that matter, technical details. It's what makes driving fun in a Volkswagen. Again, Volkswagen's award-winning EA888 1.8 liter TSI engine. Turbocharged, direct injected, lots of fun. 170 horsepower, 199 pound-feet of torque, 30 miles per gallon on the highway, six-speed DSG transmission at launch, six-speed manual transmission available starting early 2017, and the fifth generation of Volkswagen's four-motion all-wheel drive system featuring an electro-hydraulically controlled clutch pack differential. At the end of the day, it's all about having a fully automatic all-wheel drive system that transfers power where it needs to go before wheel slippage occurs. One feature that's fantastic on Golf Alltrack, which I think really helps set it apart from the Subaru specifically, is the standard driving mode selection. If you've driven Volkswagen's Golf R, if you've driven our GTI, recently you've experienced driving mode selection. On Alltrack specifically, there's a new off-road mode, <coughs> and this off-road mode is going to optimize some of your off-road handling situations by optimizing the ABS and the traction control systems when you're off-road, as well as allowing you to engage hill descent assist to help you crawl down steep inclines without having to actuate the accelerator or the brake pedal. The car takes over and it makes those off-road climbs and descents a little bit easier. And again, all around independent suspension as well. Let's talk a little bit more about the Alltrack from its usability standpoint. It's a wagon. I know a lot of people in here are fans of wagons. That's one thing that all of us car guys can say we love wagons, right? So with Alltrack, you've got the capability of a wagon, but still the capability of an SUV. 
from a loading point of view, 30.4 cubic feet of space with the back seats up, very impressive. Even more impressive, fold down those rear seats. You've got easy release to fold those down from the rear of the vehicle. 66 and a half cubic feet of storage. That's more than many compact SUVs out there. So again, we all know this in the room because we're car guys, but Wagon's great secret is that you can store so much in them, but you don't have to drive an SUV if you don't want to. You can still have the drivability of a car with a loading capacity of an SUV. Again, you've got that standard 60-40 split with the center pass-through and the lower load height compared to most SUVs, so it makes it easy to load those treasures from Ikea or the garage sale or Home Depot into the vehicle. The standard roof rails on the vehicle make it easy to load your items. Volkswagen has a full <coughs> complement of crossbars available through our accessories program. So again, roof boxes, skis, snowboards, kayaks, canoes, etc. Golf Alltrack doesn't disappoint from its standard feature list. We've got three trim levels on the vehicle for model year 2017, so we're enabling our customers to have three different ways of the perfect Alltrack for them. Starting out with the Alltrack S, again, 26,950 with the DSG transmission, rear view camera standard, unique 17 inch Valley multi spoke out of the standard, heated front seats, driving mode selection, Volkswagen CarNet App Connect, security and service for full telematics support daytime running lights, fog lights, and many other features. The Golf Alltrack SE builds on all the great standard, feature, standard features of the S, and it adds automatic headlights, auto rain sensing wipers, the beautiful panoramic tilt and sliding sunroof, Volkswagen's keyless access with push button start, which we know as Kessie, a 115 volt outlet in the rear cargo area, that comes in handy if you're camping, maybe if you were tailgating today for the Seahawks game or whatever your favorite sports team may be. Fender Premium Audio is also found on SE. There is, in addition, an available driver assistance package. This available driver assistance package is um, optional for either the S or the SE models, and you receive a few great driver assistance features there, including adaptive cruise control. So, this model does start at 30530 with the DSG transmission, but one thing that anybody who's into wagons and into driving and excited about this car should know. Yes, you can get, in early 2017, an Alltrack SE with a six-speed manual transmission. So that means we're offering a very well-equipped vehicle that still has a manual transmission. So, panoramic sunroof, auto headlights, Kessie, manual transmission. Great combo if you ask me. But if you want everything, Alltrack SEL is the place to go. So for Alltrack SEL, we're taking all the equipment of the SE and differentiating it a bit further from the outside. Let the world know you have the top of the line model with the 18 inch Canyon alloy wheels, MIB2 Discover Media touchscreen, which has in itself a unique off-road HMI screen that allows you to view your altitude, your, uh, there's a compass rose, and also your steering wheel angle. So whether you're on road or off and you just want a little bit more information about where you're going and the direction your off-road HMI will provide that display for you. There's also a 12-way full power driver's seat, Climatronic dual zone automatic um, climate control, ambient lighting, and a starting price of 32,890 for the DSG transmission. There is one optional package for the SEL. It's a driver assistance and lighting package. It adds an auto dimming rear view mirror, bi-xenon headlights with Volkswagen's steerable adaptive front lighting system to help light those dark corners as you're driving down those winding mountain roads at night. Um, we also have LED daytime running lights. So if you're familiar with the double U-shaped light signature that's found on today's Golf and GTI and Golf R that have the uh, LED daytime running lights, you'll immediately recognize this as a Golf Alltrack. Adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and our two park assist and uh, park distance control systems are found on the um, Alltrack SEL with this package as well. So that's the Alltrack. We're super excited to have everybody here. Welcome to wave one of the Alltrack and full line event. Mm -hmm.